Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. Let us reflect now about Ash Wednesday. Many times we go through the Ash Wednesday with just the idea of the ritual, with just the idea of being marked, and that's it. And many times we do not even go to church and attend Mass. We are just so uh, focused in having the ashes and that's all. Uh, sometimes uh, the idea of Ash Wednesday is, oh, it is again a day of fasting and abstinence. And so the idea of a sense of dislike to the idea of the Ash Wednesday as a day with all these rituals and symbolisms and a day of penance and sacrifice. I would like us to deepen our appreciation of the Ash Wednesday. So first and foremost, Ash Wednesday begins the season of Lent. Two things I would like us to such I would like us to consider. First, Ash Wednesday gives us the image of ashes. Ashes comes from something is destroyed, something burned, and as it is burned, this thinks this makes us think of those things that are burned. Sin must be burned, must be destroyed. Sinfulness, bad attitudes, bad mannerisms must be destroyed. And this is the mission of the Lord Jesus Christ. He came into the world, he took upon himself our fallen nature, and with our human nature, with the human body that he has, he experienced the Paschal mystery so that sin is vanquished. Life, divine life, eternal life, new life is given to us. And that is why something must be destroyed. During Lenten season from this Ash Wednesday, let us now have a willful confrontation with sin and sinfulness. Not in a general idea, but sin and sinfulness in me. Sin and sinfulness in each one of us. Think of it. What are the sins we usually fall into? What are the sins that we usually encounter and many times we are at a loss? And that is why this is the time we go to Jesus Christ. We gather our courage to truly fight the good fight in our faith. It, many times it is said that we have favorite sins. Why? Because these are the kinds of sin that we fall repeatedly over and over. And then all of a sudden, we just would like to say, well, since God knows it, so I don't, I don't care anymore of confessing it, or I don't go to confession anymore. Wrong. We must therefore go to confession. We must therefore acknowledge our sins and our sinfulness, humble ourselves, be contrite, and then renew our lives in Jesus Christ. He himself became the sacrifice so that something is destroyed and then in that destruction something is rebuilt is built up is once again in a new way and in a wonderful way becomes a new creation this is who we are second in the ash wednesday we are marked with the cross on our foreheads we are people of the cross remember Jesus Christ died on the cross for our salvation. He became the sacrifice so that we can be saved. He became the victim so that we can be ransomed. During therefore this Ash Wednesday, we will be asked by our church law, make this day, offer this day as abstinence from meat and fasting. 
maybe instead of three meals, maybe one meal and little meals. Or if you cannot do that, then make other forms of sacrifice, other forms of self-denial. This is not only for Ash Wednesday. Let this also be the kind of sense you are going to live through the Lenten season. If we cannot do that because of age, because of health reasons, then may, we can do other forms of sacrifice. We cannot willfully escape. Oh, I cannot do it. Oh, I cannot do it. No. Why? Because Jesus, God, must be acknowledged from our part. He did everything for us. He sacrificed for us. Can we do something? God, our faith, is not asking too much. All we are being asked is to do something so that we can participate in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we atone for our sins and the sins of the whole world. It is beautiful, actually, when we can have the sense of sacrifice. Let us conclude in this reflection that in the Ash Wednesday and towards the season of Lent, we fight the good fight against sin, and then we willfully join Jesus Christ's suffering and death by also our willingness into making some forms of sacrifice. May you have a fruitful, holy Lenten journey. God bless.